To get started, let's create a black video by going to the project panel, right clicking, selecting new item, and then black video, and then you can click OK. Now drag your black video onto the timeline and make sure it's on video layer 3. Go over to effects and find the circle video effect and drag it on top of your black video. From the start of the black video, go to effect controls and scroll down to radius under the circle effect and click on the toggle animation button and then change the value to zero. Move your timeline slider ahead about 3 seconds and then change the value of radius to 1100. Go over to effects and add the turbulent displace effect to your black video. Under effect controls, go down and change the displace amount to 300, complexity to 10, and evolution to 60. Now we have our basic effect. Let's go ahead and add our text layer. Go over and click on the type tool and add some text to your screen. Then go to your essential graphics panel and adjust it to your needs. A bigger title will probably look best here. Click and drag your text layer from the video 4 layer to video 2. Then go to effects, find the track matte key effect and drag it on top of your text layer. Go over to effect controls and change the matte option to video 3 and then check off the reverse option here. So now our effect is really starting to come together. Go down to your black video layer and duplicate it by holding alt and clicking and dragging above into layer 4. Highlight your text layer on the timeline and go to effect controls. Find the track matte key effect, then click on it. Then hold control and push C to copy, and then control and push V to paste. This will duplicate the effect. Now change the top track matte key effect to video 4, and then click on the black video in layer 4 and go to effects, look for Gaussian blur, and drag it on top of black video on layer 4. Under effect controls, scroll all the way down to Gaussian blur and change the blurriness to 100. Make another copy of the black video on layer 4 and drag it above to video layer 5. Then with 5 selected, go down and delete Gaussian blur under effect controls. Make one more copy of the black video on layer 5 and drag it above to layer 6 and then highlight layer 5 and 6 and right click and select nest to combine these two layers. Double click on your new nested sequence and you will have two black videos we just nested inside. Go to effects, type in invert, and select the invert under video effects, not under audio effects, then drag it on top of your top black video layer. With the top black video layer selected, go to effect controls and change the value of scale to 98. Now click back onto your main sequence by clicking here and then duplicate your burn text layer and click and drag below to video 1. With the burn 1 video layer selected, go to effect controls and delete one of the track matte key effects and then change the remaining one to matte on video 5. Now move the video 1 burn layer to video 6 above the nested sequence and with it still highlighted, go to the essential graphics panel and click on the word burn. Then go down and change the fill color to a nice burn fire color and then click OK. Go to effect controls, and under track matte key, uncheck the reverse option, and change the composite using to matte luma. Duplicate the burn text layer on video 2, and drag it down to video 1. And with video 1 still highlighted, go to effect controls, and delete both track matte key effects from the menu. Go to effects, type in fractal noise, and drag the effect onto burn video 1. Under effect controls, scroll to VR fractal noise, and change contrast to 200 brightness to minus 30, and complexity all the way to 10. Starting from the beginning of Burn Video 1, under Effect Controls, click on the stopwatch animation button for evolution and set it to 0. Then move ahead about 4 seconds and change the value to 2 times 160, or about that. Now go down to Opacity, and starting at the 3 second mark, click on the stopwatch animation button and set the opacity to 20. Then move ahead 1 second and change it to 0.